got a little bit of time today. The weather's a little uh, cooler out. And I just discovered that this truck was blue, not gray. Huh. So, it's kind of interesting. It's like a robin's egg blue. I thought it was gray. So, anywho, I went and picked up a battery for this thing last night. Decided that it was worth it spending the 130 bucks on a battery to see what we uh, have here to uh, deal with. For your worst case, I'll have a six volt battery floating around for future projects. Well, for starters, I'm gonna try to clean up this uh, rat's nest that's on top of the intake. I already disposed of the uh, raccoon poop. Got my shop vac out, so I'm gonna do some cleaning for a little bit here. All right, that's a little better. Next. Next, I'll probably disconnect this fuel line just to be on the safe side in case it does pop off. Don't want it sucking up whatever might be in the tank. Then I'll probably throw the battery in to see if it'll crank over at the very least. So let me take care of that and go grab the battery out of the truck. So I started poking around in here. I decided that, hey, maybe it's probably a good idea to do some cleaning in here because uh, I found Mickey. Yeah. So, uh, maybe I'll do, uh, you know, yeah, I'll grab some gloves first and uh, clean this up a little bit. Probably a good idea. Now, I don't know if I can or should try to get you to understand this smell that came out of here. I should be wearing some sort of respiratory uh, mask, but uh, you know, I've been through this and I know better, right? Ha ha ha. I'm trashing the whole glove box and pull the uh, rubber flooring off. I'm gonna give it a once over with the vacuum. I did find the original key inside the glove box, along with what looks like the original ignition switch. I found a spare distributor underneath the seat, which could or could not be bad. I don't know. I'm not sure. Could or could not or could be bad. I don't know. Got some vice grips. Just notice those. All right. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna hit the inside of this thing with a vacuum. I also found access to the master cylinder and surprisingly, the cap actually came off. These usually break. I'm totally not used to vehicles that didn't come from the rust belt. Well, I'm gonna put some brake fluid in there and see if maybe it'll do something. Who knows? Oh, see, yeah, they're not labeled. No, they are not. Mm-hmm. I don't really know if there's a way to fucking determine this very well, but let's start with the basics and... Man, this ground is gonna be for shit. So you're gonna have hard pro you're gonna have hard start problems. Oh, I know. But, I yeah. know. All right, well, let's figure this out. So this... All right, so we figured out I wasted money on a battery. Because somebody already converted this to 12 volt negative ground. <laughs> All right, keys on. You want to hit that starter? Yeah. That sounded like it wanted to run. Cap's Is there a there. choke? Choke inside? I assume. You're tugging on something. There's that. No, I want you just tug down, move the choke cable. Yeah, it's stuck really. Okay. 
No? It's not all you want to start. Yeah. You heard that, right? Yeah. I'm going to try to choke it a little bit with my hand. Yeah. No? Come on, get some more schmutz in there. <sighs> Try it. Hold on. Let me, uh, all right, I filed down the point some more. Yeah, it might help. Might, if it's wired in. Just try pulling the plugs or anything? No. That's are fucking gross. So, there might be a reason why it's not wanting to fire. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's take care of that right now. Alright, threw some uh, new plugs in there. Some wires that won't stay on. Key on? So I believe to the right is the on position and starter. Right, got a little more. Uh... Yeah, one more. Oh, you think it hurt you. Not with this. No. Hmm, weird. It wanted to right away, remember? Yeah, right? You got an inline spark tester? Uh, well, battery died in the camera, but. Don't worry, didn't miss anything. <laughs> That's about where I'm stopping today. That's all I had time for. So, I accomplished buying a six volt battery that this truck didn't need. Go figure. But I did uh, clean out the interior some, so that looks quite a bit better. And engine actually cranks over very good. It did fire for like a split second. Both of us agreed it, it it wanted a fire, but it, now it has no spark. So gonna have to figure that out and figure out why it doesn't have any spark. We have power at the coil. We have power at the points. Although I don't think it's enough power at the coil. But the uh, we ohmed the we ohmed one or two of the plug wires and they're uh they've got a ton of resistance in them so and they're they don't fit very well so i'm gonna order a few parts you know cap rotor uh wires and uh go from there so i'm gonna do that and get that taken care of and see you guys in a little bit all right well took a little while longer to get back to this than i thought it would but get all my parts from rack auto it ended up costing me like $60 plus shipping, so it wasn't bad at all. <sighs> Got a uh, ignition coil, wires, plugs, cap rotor. I think that's it. I've got about uh, 45 minutes of time right now. I should be able to get all this on here and see if this thing actually fires. So, wish me luck. Oh. Guess I should add, we got pretty lucky last night. I'm just west of uh, Chicago in uh, DuPage County, and we had a uh, tornado scare last night. A uh, tornado actually was confirmed to have touched down just uh, south west of us, and uh, my son and I actually heard it. We were hiding in the basement. I had uh, one window open so I could hear what's going on outside. And uh, I heard the tornado. It was, it was coming closer and it was louder and louder. I, I, I never want to hear it again. Let's put it that way. It turns out it uh, it was on the ground just uh, southwest of us. And it was moving north and northeast. Um, basically the, the exact direction I heard it coming from and it uh lifted off the ground and went over us basically so we uh we got really lucky last night um we really don't have any damage um the area was down on the ground there are trees down there's damage 
some damage to houses and uh, a lot of people are without power so uh, we uh, we got pretty pretty damn lucky last night so <laughs> uh, my son's at a birthday party right now so I'm going to uh, get all the stuff swapped out so I can try to get it done before I get to go pick them up and always an issue Rock Auto sent me the wrong spark plugs I don't know if you can tell but the threaded part is too narrow. Is that better? Does that work? <sighs> Always something, man. Always something. I'm really losing faith in Rock Auto right now. These are supposed to be OEM direct fit spark plug wires. These are the ones that need to be assembled. If I wanted to just buy wires that need to be assembled, I would have went to Napa. These are supposed to be direct fit. Man, first the plugs, now the wires. At least the cap and rotor fit. So what did I get done in 45 minutes? Well, I got two and a half plug wires on. Yeah, 45 minutes, two and a half plug wires. I'm gonna go inside and uh, try to call Rock Auto because I've never had an issue with them until now. I've ordered dozens and dozens of orders from them. Never had an issue. And now, this is just, oh, this just really pisses me off. I'm not going to lie. I made sure, absolutely made sure, I ordered the direct fit plug wires. Because I hate dealing with these things. I hate dealing with putting these things together. It is such a pain. I know, someone's going to say, yeah, you should have had the spark plug uh, wire tool. I do have the spark plug wire tool, and it's still a pain. Look at third wire. Came right out. Came right out. So now the terminal's stuck in there. And I almost broke the cap trying to get it out. So I don't know what to do right now. I'm done. I only had so much time to begin with today because I got somewhere to go. So unfortunately, I need to abandon this again. So sorry. All right. So, where we left off last, I was uh, mother effing Rock Auto, and for good reason. They completely screwed up my order. Like, they really screwed it up. To start with, I can only order spark plugs in multiples of four, all right? So I had to order eight spark plugs. They only sent me seven. One of the boxes, one of the single boxes of plugs were empty so okay no big deal it's like two bucks whatever well next part of the problem was spark plugs wouldn't even fit in the cylinder heads <laughs> i don't know what they're for but they're definitely not for this motor all right so the spark plug number was different than what was on the box the box number matched the order number you know, the, the parts I ordered, but the actual um, part that was inside the box didn't match what was on the box. And the and there was only seven, not eight like I ordered, but that part's irrelevant. Plug wires, they were supposed to be direct fit. They were not direct fit. I had to assemble them. And I hate, 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 hate the plug wires you have to assemble. Hate them with a passion, even with the tool. They suck. I'm telling you, they suck. Especially these cheap, it, I'm sorry, cheap uh, ASS ones. See, I'm trying not to swear as much. I really am. So, Napa had direct fit plug wires. Just picked them up today. I've got about, I don't know, half hour of sunlight left. So, I'm gonna try to get that uh, broken uh, wire terminal out of that cap and get these wires on. I should, I should be able to get that done. And if so, uh, well, we'll try and start it again. So, wish me luck. Well, that took all 10 minutes like it should've. I even swapped out the coil, look at that. 
Just about the only thing I didn't touch are the uh, points, which which we did determine are working. And the wires going to and from the coil, which, well, the points are working, those are probably working. So, I'm gonna pop this air cleaner off, put a little fuel in the carb, and hook up the jump pack, and see what happens. All right, what do you think's gonna happen? Fortunately, I'm flying solo, so I'm gonna try to figure out how to mount you guys here so we can both watch. See? You need to see fire. I mean, I hooked up everything right. Let's try that. starting fluid. Huh. Don't want to start. I don't know where my lone wolf 10,000 is. I can test for spark. That's unfortunate. Hmm. <laughs> don't even know where the solenoid is mounted on this thing. Well, I hooked up everything right. I think I hooked everything up right. So I hooked everything back up the way it was. It's got new plugs, new wires, new cap, new rotor, new coil. Still won't start. You think it's wrong, man. You think it's wrong. You guys gonna see if there's spark for me? Stupid valve resistor. Let me go ahead and try something here. Spark. 
Maybe I do need new points. Find good ground, everything's covered in rust. And this is good ground, probably not. We got power going on the coil. <laughs> so we got power going on the coil. Key on. Oh, that's not a problem. Alright, flip that off. Might just might have to swap these points out. And I'm running out of daylight, so it might have to be a tomorrow thing now. See, I haven't had much luck. I haven't had much time lately. During the day, either it's raining and storming, or it's hot and humid. One or the other lately, unfortunately. All right, I'm gonna go look in the garage for something. All right, I'm gonna try to clean these points again. How did I get that much corrosion off? I already cleaned them once. I said I didn't do a very good job the first time. Gotta have the Revlon touch apparently. Yeah, I'm using a nail file. Let's try that. Alright, let's try that. Let's go with that. Maybe the Revlon touch did it. Somebody's dog sounds sick. See if that made a difference. Try to figure out where the starting fluid went. <laughs> Landed right side up. I do believe I made a difference. Look at that. I think that thing fired. What do you think? Found those points made a difference. How bad are those points? All right, all right. I'll try cleaning the points one more time. Bad are these things? Jeez. Alright. We're gonna try that one more time. 
and I gotta call it quits. There we go. All right. Let's try that. What do you think? Are you gonna do it again? Cross fingers. Oh man. It runs, it runs. And I have 6% left on the camera. But look at that, saved it from the junkyard and it runs. It's exciting, I'm excited, you should be excited. That was so freaking cool. Who knows when the last time this thing ran. I guess in at least 20 years. All right, there you have it, it runs. Now I gotta figure out what to do with it next. Stay tuned.